Hello everyone. Let us continue our discussion on Fourier series. We've already discussed that complex exponential Fourier series representation says that any xt which is periodic with the period t naught and a fundamental frequency omega naught can be represented as a summation of c k e to the power j k omega naught t k varying from minus infinity to infinity. Now, if I have a complex exponential Fourier series representation, can I rewrite or can I derive the trigonometric Fourier series representation from this expression? Having known the complex exponential Fourier series representation, I'm going to rewrite and break this summation into three limits, three sets of limits. So I'll write k equal to minus infinity to minus 1 c k to the power j k omega naught t plus c 0 e to the power j 0 omega naught t that is 1 so just c naught plus continuing with the limit k equal to 1 to infinity c k e to the power j k omega naught t I can write this I can write the second term here now for this term by simply replacing k with minus k, I can actually rewrite the limits as k equal to 1 to infinity c of minus k e to the power minus j k omega naught t plus this third term k equal to 1 to infinity c k e to the power j k omega naught t which means c 0 plus summation k equal to 1 to infinity c minus k e to the power minus j k omega naught t plus c k e to the power j k omega naught t. plus c of minus k cos minus k omega naught t that is cos k omega naught t minus j sin k omega naught t is equal to c 0 summation k equal to 1 to infinity I am keeping together the terms the coefficients of cos k omega naught t that means c k plus c of minus k cos k omega naught t and I am writing coefficients of sine together now the 1 to infinity j c k minus c of minus k sine k omega naught t okay. if you remember in trigonometric series, this is what used to be a k and this is what used to be b k. Therefore, we can write that a 0, if I say that the trigonometric Fourier coefficients are a 0, a k and b k, then the relationship of these coefficients with complex exponential Fourier coefficients is that a 0 is simply c 0. a k is c k plus c of minus k and b k is j times c k minus c of minus k. So if you know the complex exponential coefficients, you can find the trigonometric coefficients as a 0, a k and b k. Conversely, using the same relationship, if you already know a k and b k, you can find complex exponentials as c k is half of a k minus j b k and c of minus k would be half of a k plus j b k. This is the relationship between complex exponential coefficients and trigonometric Fourier series coefficients. Now an important thing to note here is that if x t is a real signal then 
these coefficients a k and b k would be real because x t has to be represented as a summation of a k and b k's right so if for x t to be real a k and b k both have to be real what that means is that in that case a k following the relationship just in the previous slide a k would come out to we have already written that c k is half of a k minus j b k and c of minus k is half a k plus j b k. If x t is real a k and b k would have to be real and in that case for a real x t a k can be found by twice real part of c k and b k can be written as minus 2 the imaginary part of c k. This is one finding. Another important thing if x t is real we already said that c k is 1 upon t naught integration over t naught x t e to the power minus j k omega naught t dt and what would be c of minus k replacing k with minus k that means 1 upon t naught integration over t naught x t e to the power replacing k with minus k so j k omega naught t dt if x t is real that means this product or this whole term can be termed as conjugate of c k that means if x t is real then c of minus k is simply the conjugate of c k this also tells us that because they are conjugates of each other c k magnitude of c k would be equal to magnitude of c minus k and the phase of c k would be equal to the minus of phase of c minus k simple property of complex numbers this implies that the magnitude spectrum is even while the phase spectrum is odd okay this is an important finding if xt is real for example we had earlier taken an example where we said let xt be equal to 1 plus sin omega naught t plus 2 cos omega naught t plus cos omega naught t plus pi by 4 and we found its Fourier coefficients so we found ck and we found magnitude ck and angle ck and we plotted it and we said this is what is Fourier spectrum for this question c0 was found to be 1 c1 was found to be 1 minus j1 by 2 c minus 1 was found to be 1 plus j1 by 2 c2 was found to be 1 upon 2 root 2 1 plus j c minus 2 was found to be 1 upon 2 root 2 1 minus j and c k was equal to 0 for mod k greater than 2 so all other Fourier coefficients were found to be 0 you can clearly see that c1 and c minus 1 are conjugates of each other c2 and c minus 2 are conjugates of each other because x t is a real signal okay. and when we plotted its Fourier coefficients so this was some half
so these are different values of k now in this question for k equal to 0 we found that c0 is equal to 1 so if this is 1 this is c0 and there is no imaginary part so the phase is 0 for k equal to 1 and for k equal to minus 1 the magnitude is root 5 by 2 means some number great, slightly greater than 1 and the phase for k equal to 1 is tan inverse of minus half so a negative quantity and for 1 would be tan inverse of half so the same quantity but in the positive direction similarly for k equal to 2 the magnitude comes out to be 1 by 2 for both k equal to 2 and minus 2 and the phase for k equal to 2 comes out to be for k equal to 2 it's pi by 4 and for k equal to minus 2 it's minus pi by 4 so this is actually minus pi by 4 for all other coefficients phase is also 0 and magnitude is also 0 so this is called the Fourier spectrum and what we can also observe that because xt was real the magnitude spectrum is even and the phase spectrum is odd so we move on and talk about what would happen to these coefficients if the signal itself the signal xt that you're trying to represent that is odd or even okay so what would happen to these coefficients so if xt is even okay, we already know that how are trigonometric Fourier series coefficients represented ak is 2 by t naught integration over t naught xt cos k omega naught t dt and bk is 2 by t naught integration over t naught xt sin k omega naught t naught if xt is even that means this term which is a multiplication of xt and sin k omega naught t now you already know that sin k omega naught t is an odd function and xt is an even function the product of an even and odd function is an odd function we've already discussed this in class now if you have an odd function and you try to find its integration from the period minus t naught by 2 to plus t naught by 2 this would be equal to 0 because the value of this odd function from minus t naught by 2 to 0 will cancel out its value from 0 to t naught by 2 that is a fundamental property that is how an odd function is defined for example something like this from minus t naught by 2 to plus t naught by 2 these are going to cancel each other out or for example the sine wave from minus t naught by 2 to plus t naught by 2 this is going to cancel each other out so any odd function integrated from minus t naught by 2 to plus t naught by 2 because we have to integrate over a period this is going to cancel each other out and this is what was bk so bk is equal to 0 when xt is even that means your Fourier series representation when xt is even would only be a0 plus summation ak cos k omega naught t k varying from 1 to infinity with no sign terms when xt is even similarly if xt is odd if xt is odd then we already know that ak is a summation since it's over an interval t naught i'm taking the interval to be minus t naught by 2 to plus t naught by 2 
ए के इंटू कॉस के ओमेगा नॉट टी नाउ एक्स टी इज ऑड एंड कॉस ओमेगा नॉट टी इज इवन अगेन द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दीज टू टर्म्स इज एन ऑड फंक्शन विच इज वाई वेन यू इंटीग्रेट एन ऑड फंक्शन फ्रॉम माइनस टी नॉट बाई टू टू प्लस टी नॉट बाई टू दिस इज गोइंग टू कम आउट टू बी जीरो दैट मीन्स ऑल कोजाइन टर्म्स वुड there would be no that means there would be no cosine terms and only sine terms and in that case xt would simply be summation bk sin k omega not t k varying from 1 to infinity and no cos terms or no dc term thank you